Mr. Stark's last known location is his ancestral home, Golden Acres. You may be able to find a clue to his current whereabouts there. Ever heard of it? He really does not want to be found. Indeed not. The estate was located in a remote area of Nevada. I can provide you with the precise coordinates. Dr. Banner, I have completed the scans you requested and have discovered residual traces of gamma radiation in a remote area of the Pacific Northwest. It is likely that Ms. Rappuccini is experimenting with your research there. I have marked the location on the war table. Check out the fancy drawbridge. Ah, typical, subtle Tony. After you. <laughs> I can't believe we're about to knock on Tony Stark's door. You think you can find a way over there? I mean, I could break through those rocks, but the green guy isn't the best. Good point. Part of being the Hulk. You gotta like something. Uh, we should really focus on the drawbridge. What are you gonna do? Stand around in silence the whole time? <laughs> yeah, oh. great idea. Eh, suit yourself. More rocks? No problem. Are you okay? Uh, uh, I'm fine. I can see Golden Acres! Uh, kinda. Great! So, can you jump over and lower the bridge? Sure thing! You can make that jump. Just a little farther this time. <sighs> Made it! Still waiting on that bridge? Come on. Okay, guess it needs power. Ta-da! I hereby grant you passage to Sir Stark's fancy castle. Okay, calm down. Nice job. Sounds like he's up, at least. Isn't that one of his top five songs to kick, uh, butt to? Yep. Good old number four. And hello, Golden Acres! Uh, this can't be it. Let's get this over with. So Tony Stark, the Tony Stark lives here? I appear so. Tony? 
Hey, Bruce. Long night? Ooh, long five years. <laughs> um, at least it's quiet. Yeah. It was. I... Uh. Hey, back off! Hi, I'm sorry. Who are you? Uh, Kamala? Well, uh, Kamala, your emeraldite friend here is kind of on my shit list. Okay. I deserve it. Yeah, you're damn right you deserved it. Do the Avengers pose a danger to society? That was the question, Bruce. That was the question. Did you even check the science? Did you check the science? It was a heist, science? Bruce. No. We were outsmarted. No. The Terrigen reactor was unstable, <sighs> and you knew that. You knew that, and you still paraded it before the entire world. So what? We just give up? We didn't give up, Tony. We failed. At least I can admit that. No. No, we failed him. We failed him. Tony, I don't know how long you're gonna be mad at me, and to be honest with you, I don't really care. Take as long as you want. But, but the kid is inhuman. We did this. And she needs your help. I can't. I can't. You can't what? You're ditching me? Oh, hey, don't take it personally, kid. No, this is what he does, isn't it? And why don't you take a good look around, huh? I can barely help myself. <laughs> this was a mistake. Now we agree on something. So you're both just gonna walk away? The Avengers were set up. Cap was murdered. You think I don't know that? Huh? I've replayed that day in my head a thousand times. The Avengers take the fall despite saving the day and that bastard Charlton walks away smelling like a rose. And guess what? Guess what? No one cares. No one cares. The world needed someone to blame, and he gave them their scapegoat. So, unless you have some kind of astounding proof, I suggest you both get off my land. What is that? Proof. This better be good. Hmm. Kind of buried the lead, you know. Could have told me about that earlier. No, no, no. No sitting on my couch. You're still on the list. Where did you get this? Guess your password on some resistance blog. Impressive. Dude, your password was I am Iron Man. Really? Huh. Thought I'd change that. Son of a bitch. I know, it's incomplete. There's a whole folder on AIM's server. No, no, there's there's more here. What? Yeah, look, it's smart. They encrypted it to look like a corrupt file. Need a few hours, I'll get all the rest. What is this? Who is who is Tiny Dancer? Oh no. We gotta get out of here. What? You know this shameless Elton John fan? They helped me get out of Jersey. I wouldn't be here if they hadn't warned me about AIM. Really? Tiny dancer. Look, we really should go. Now. I would have gone with Rocket Man. Okay. I gotta get dressed. You have a suit? Yeah. Maybe, sort of. We'll see. Excuse me while I slip into something less comfortable. Oh, that's where I left my boots. Ah, of course. 
course Bruce tries to saddle me with a stray fan girl. After all these years, he still can't own up to his own responsibilities. No, oh, son of a... Well, looks like Tiny Dancer was telling the truth. They found you, Bruce. Yeah, don't judge me, Grandpa. I'm doing my best. Oh, great Nana's flying machine. Still a thing of beauty. Can't say the same about her. Let's get airborne. More party crashers. Oh, hey, fellas. Old times. Gonna need a helmet. Okay, gotta be around here somewhere. Good thing I don't have neighbors. They'd be so pissed off right now. You always love to make an entrance, Stark. How did I know? Uh, I'll give you a 7 out of 10. Good to see you, Georgie boy. You been working out? You any other billion dollar companies lately? Just yours. Hey, you're gonna pay for that window, Tarleton. This is your new place? I expected more mirrors. I got rid of everything that didn't spark joy. Guess what pile you're in? You turned the girl over, Stark. And that will get you off my lawn. Uh, Mr. Stark. I'm joking, kid. Just stay near the nice green. Well, you know, she seems fine to me. How's Charlton controlling these machines? I don't know. He got powers after the accident. I saw him controlling a robotic spider thing once. Well, he's leveled up from spiders. You humans are sick. They need treatment. Ah, you people actually buy that crap? Nice move, kiddo. Yeah, uh, Lala? <laughs> Rolls right off the tongue. We got air trouble. Stay close to the Hulk, or as close as he'll let you. No, I got this. 
Watch. Wait! You're not ready for... Or maybe you are. Surprised to see you and Banner together again. Well, Brucey and I are seeing someone about our issues. She's great. Short, stretchy, really good at guessing passwords. Still putting the weak in danger. You never learn. We? Is that why you sent an army to take her down? Right? It's kind of a compliment, actually. I like you more every second, kid. Right? You're mind melding with robots now? You're choosing sides in a battle you don't fully understand. I chose my side five years ago. You showed up and forced my hand. Give me the girl, and you and Banner can do whatever you want. Forget it. Took the words right out of my mouth. Watch your words. You no longer make the rules. He does. When I was young, I found an orphaned wolf cub in the forest behind our farm. What? Dad said it was too dangerous. He told me to get rid of it. I fed that cub. I named him. I watched him play with my beloved dog, Darwin. You're wasting my time. I felt if I could instill rules, the proper boundaries, I could harness the raw power of that beast. Have you done rambling? Almost. Oh. A few months later, while hunting, the adolescent cub turned on me, snarling, frothing at the mouth. Darwin bought me a few precious moments to call for help. My dad shot the wolf. But it was too late. Darwin had been torn to pieces. George. We need him. <laughs> I I'm sorry. I don't know what came over me. Leave. Please. <laughs> 